Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for being here on time. This is DJ Dimaliwat. Welcome. So we're also live on YouTube. If in case you're having a hard time to connect with Zoom, you can also leave a comment here. So we'll start in two minutes. Thank you very much for being early and on time. We want to respect people who are early, so we will start on time. May I request everyone to also mute their speakers and their mics? Sorry. So anytime that you have a question, you can just uh, put in the chat box. I will be able to read that later. So don't hesitate to read uh, to, to chat on the comment section. Don't worry. If ever you are lagging, again, here in Zoom, you can choose to go to YouTube and also watch this. I left the link in the Six Figures a Month Income Facebook group. And also in my Facebook page, DJ Dimaliwat, you can also see there. So let's start. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. You're watching this 3 p.m. in Manila, May 8, 2020. Nasan kayo ngayon? Can you chat here so that we can have uh, the the feel of our uh, zoom app diba? so that i can see you as well yeah i will mute you guys uh, please not i will not allow you to unmute yourself anymore Ayan. okay okay sige, so let me pin my video here. So Galvin from Muntinlupa, Richard Isorena from Thailand. Hello there. Hello to our OFWs and Filipinos all over the world. Giovanni from Batangas. Uh, si Elmer from Dasmarinas. Carla from Navotas. Romel from Cainta. Si Richelle from Manila. I want to know, guys, where did you see this? Uh, where did you learn about this? Did you see this in YouTube? Did you see, did you see this in the Facebook groups or a friend invited you? Let me know so that we also know uh, saan namin kayo nakikita na saan nyo nakita tong announcements natin. Also, let me know if you can hear me clearly and if you can see my screen later. All right, so si Lauren from Makati, hello there. Arlene Mandaluyong, ayan, si Jerson from Jubail, Saudi Arabia, 10 a.m. sa kanila, 5 hours behind. Kaya to 3 o'clock dito kahit mainit sa kwarto ko na to. Para makasama yung mga taga Middle East. We know that there's a lot of Filipinos in the Middle East. So alam kong 10 a.m. dyan. No? So this is the best time for the both of us, Philippines and Middle East. 
or even in the US, it can be around 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. So that's still fine. Right? Si Jeff from Teresa, si Gary from Pampanga, James and Chim yeah, from Mandaluyong, si Galvin nakita sa YouTube, yeah, si Rex Antipolo. All good? Kamusayan? That's very good. I really hope that you're doing fine right now and you're all healthy. Ricky from Kalaokan, James, again, saw your interview with Sir Lubar, so nakita yung interview natin, and then saw the link to the YouTube. Si Joan Naime from Cavite, Richard, again, interview ni Sir Lubar. Si Xperia XZ, hindi ko alam pangalan mo, but from Riyadh. Elmer P, shinare ng brother niya, and then si Carla from Good Friend. Thank you very much for listening. Again, I'm DJ Dimaliwat. I'll be your presenter for today. Uh, and I'll be sharing with you this opportunity, this wonderful opportunity that we decided to offer to Filipinos, not just OFWs, but everyone who wants to have their own business and investments at the same time, moving forward, this 2020, moving forward. Now, so, again, let me share with you my screen. Okay, so welcome to the Philippine Tracking Business Partnership Program. Um, again, we are presenting this because we are looking for partners in our expansion uh, to in the logistics business. Um, so a brief background, um, my family, me specifically, has been in the business for the past seven years. Um, and even before that, um, we have already have experience in tracking already. Particularly, my dad has worked in the manufacturing industry and in logistics uh, all his life, right? Um, both multinational companies and local companies as well. So when he retired, we he had a, an early retirement. He, this is the best business that he he believed that he can run. No? So we've been experienced, we experienced as well, a lot of challenges, especially during the first years, like most truckers do, diba? but we are able to also overcome those challenges and we've learned a lot from from that you no know? so for the past seven years probably 10 years already we've been doing this and ever since i think for the past three years he's been talking to me and he's telling me dj alam mo yung mga ofws maraming gustong magnegosyo dyan dapat gumawa tayo ng program in fact sabi niya kasi alam niya nasa driven kami so me i'm one of the founders of driven marketing group and as as some of you know already uh, for the past 10 years, our main business is real estate marketing. You know, do we market real estate properties? Uh, but so he, what he wants is, what if we give this, this OFW a good business wherein they can make good income, we help them make money, and then the, the income that they're generating, they can buy property. So sigurado may pambayad sila sa bahay nila. So yung kinikita nila abroad, hindi nila magagastos. Kung baka pang sarili nila yun, hindi nila pang, kailangan pambayad ng bahay. What if yung business buys for the house. So sabi ko, uh, magandang idea yan, pero hindi ko alam, wala kami sa logistics. No? So I think for the past three years, more or more than three years, he's been telling me pumasok ka sa logistics. Ganun. So, um, and I don't know, for I think for the past two years naman, si Driven is already looking to expand in different businesses. Right? So that's why um, we looked into different, um, no, we have different business already, and this is the right expansion. No? So, Late last year, we decided to, to jump into this business so that really we really, we really want to help more people. You know, Driven has been here for the past 10 years. And our mission is to really we empower entrepreneurs and driven individuals so that we can help you build your own dreams as well. Now, yun talaga yung mission ni Driven. So really, real estate is just one um, division. But you know... Uh, the goal is really not just for real estate, but really to build more entrepreneurs to make this nation, this country a better place. And this is, really, I think it's perfect since this May, we're starting, uh, we're, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. Diba? So having said that, mas maganda na parang tama-tama. Now we're, we're ready to partner with people sa ibang, iba pang negosyo. Diba? Ganun. So, um, ito na yun. Ito na yung start na yun. And that's why we want to build more entrepreneurs and help more entrepreneurs along the way. Right? So, and first and foremost, I really want to handle this this uh, this concern kaagad or this question that, you know, this is not a franchising opportunity. We're not franchising something. 
And we are, this is also not an investment scheme. You are not just gonna put your money here and then we promise something rate, a rate of return for you. Hindi ganun. No, negosyo po ito. No, I just wanna be clear, simulang-simula pa lang. Because unang-una, hindi kami allowed tumanggap ng pera and then, you know, dali, dali namin sa negosyo namin and then bibigyan lang namin kayo ng return. No? I mean, yun yung mga scams and everything. No? Hindi pwedeng ganun. Eh. There's a separate license from that actually. So, ngayon pa lang, I'm already telling you that, you know, this is not an investment. Rather, this is a business opportunity. And ang maganda sa tracking and sa logistics, it's a simple business wherein you can really understand it easily. No, kung tutuusin. Diba? You can do that. And, you know, it's really profitable. Naalala ko, mas, I was younger back then. Sinasama ako ni Daddy sa mga different parkings ng truck, ganyan, where we, when he was just starting. Uh, by the way, I'm 33 years old right now. So, bata pa rin naman. Ganon. So, um, but you know, um, na, doon ko nakita, ang laki talaga. And, and ang ganda ng pwedeng, ang, ang ganda ng kitaan, pag mga, kung mga patakbo mo siya ng tama, but also, marami rin nag-fail because wala silang enough business acumen or experience. Or sometimes, probably, they don't have time. Or maybe commitment. There's a lot of factors why people fail in business. I've been a trainer for the past 10 years as well. I train a lot of different companies and entrepreneurs and salespeople. And, you know, it's not about... what One thing I learned is not about the money that you invest, but your commitment to the business. No, So here... We're sharing with you a simple and, par and profitable business where we will be partners. So again, that's why we call this a partnership program because you're not just going to invest your money here and just leave. No? Although we, we will try our best to make it less hassle for you. Not hassle-free. I don't believe in hassle-free. Lagi namang may effort. Diba? So yun, that's what you need to do. Right? So again, just to... Um, just to give an overview, ito yung na-discuss ko na rin dun sa previous video and if ever you haven't watched the, the first video, the part one, um, ito yung, I will just give you a recap. No? That if you, are, if you are trying to start on your own and do the tracking business on your own, you need to have a client kasi ang pinakakailangan talaga para kumita yung negosyo mo, may benta. Diba? The most important part for me, or hindi naman most, but one of the most important part, no? kasi marami rin naman na importante, is you have a sale for your business. If wala kang kliyente, kahit anong ganda ng sistema mo, wala din. Diba? Then you gotta buy your truck and then get a franchise sa LTFRB and then you will hire a driver. Pag okay na, so may, drug, may client ka na, may driver ka na, may truck ka na, and then you do the deliveries. Right? Um, and then, ibibill mo yung company na pinapasuka mo. Diba? And then, you have got to pay the amortization of your truck. Diba? Pag, 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 ano yan, pag nagmamonthly ka. And then, you gotta file the taxes. Kasi negosyo po ito. You gotta file taxes. And then, um, you got to maintain your vehicle. And marami nag-fail dito. No? Uh, either hindi sila marunong mag-maintenance or um, naubos yung pera. So, pag kailangan mag-maintain, nawawala, di ba? Parang ganun. Right? So, kumbaga, wala silang perang or, pera or budget. Ayun. So, but what we can do for you is this. We can help you find clients. In fact, the reason why we're offering this is because we have partners and clients already. No? So, in, na kailangan nila ng mas maraming trucks. No? And then we can, we have a connection that we can help you buy trucks. Like this. And then, um, we can also, we are also setting up a team to help you get the LTFRB franchise. And again, that's always been Driven's way to make it easy for their partners. So, um, we're setting up a team para mangyari. At kaya nga, we're pulling a lot of people. Para sulit din naman, no, yung kesa, kunyari, sampu tayo, isa-isa pa tayong maglalakad. Diba? If there's one team doing that, it will be easier for everyone. And then, we focus on what's income generating and what's more important. Um, yung pag-hire ng driver, ideally, you hire your own driver. We would really recommend you know your driver. Then you serve your client kasi track mo yan. And then you bill us or you build the client. Definitely, you will bill us. But what we're doing nga is we'll even give you report na. Diba? You have to pay your amortization dahil track mo yan. 
No? So yung track po, ipapangalan natin sa inyo. Yun yung unang-unang uh, guarantee mo dito. Yung ilalabas mong pera, may track ka. No? So whatever happens, may negosyo ka. Ganun yan. No? So may, may yung pera mo, may pinuntahan. Hindi yan kung saan lang napunta. No? We can, we are already on in process of uh, again, building a team to file taxes. And then, magkaroon ng motor pool. No? For, so that everyone will have support in vehicle maintenance. No? So that's what we plan to do. Um, and again, industry standard is around 3,500 per trip. What we're doing is we, in our current contract, we can give you 4,000 pesos per trip. Right? So uh, sa six-wheeler van, no? may yun ang tatanong, pwede bang mga L300, H100, uh, Ur van? Um, ito kasi yung, yung six-wheeler kasi yung malaki yung market. No? Ito yung very flexible. Kunyari, matapos yung contract natin sa company number one. When you approach company number two, ito rin yung majority ng need nila. Di ba? Kaya, ito yung gusto natin. Kasi mas madali itong ibenta. Kung baga, yung services. There's also, you can also do 10-wheeler, but of course, mas limited yung service. No? Mas malalayo nga yung biyahe. Pwedeng mas malaki yung kita. Uh, minsan umaabot ng 20,000 isang trip, 'di ba? Ganun eh, sa laki nun. pero malaki rin yung gasos, malaki rin yung risk. 'Di ba? So on our experience, uh, six wheeler yung pinakamadaling i-manage. Right? So if you are able to run 26 days, that's about approximately 104,000 a month. No, this is by the by the way VAT inclusive. No, if you file and register your business and you are VAT registered, you have to file your own VAT. No, it's a separate discussion. No, kung paano yung taxation na yan. We can also guide you there. No, because we have experience in filing taxes no, na nasa VAT wherein you can um, you know, legally um, reduce your tax especially during yung mga ikiklaim mo na VAT sa specifically yung mga um, diesel mo. Di ba? May VAT yun. No? So pwede mong ibawas yun. Ganun. So may additional kita ka pa rito. Technically, yung pagiging projection natin sa presentation na to, wala pa yun. No, but let's say if you can be able to save additional one to 2,000 a month because of your VAT inputs, I believe even more than that, that's additional income for you. Savings mo na yun. Diba? So again, yun, hindi, pa yun, hindi ko pa yun sinama rito sa projection. So to make it simpler. Right? So again, let's just, a quick, let's just recap for the computation. We did this in the first video as well. Um, so 4,000 per trip, Approximately, you will spend 2,075 per trip. Yeah, around that level. So let's say you have a net income of 1,925. Most people will take this home and then gasosen. Kaya pag may kailangan gasosen, nagahagilap na lamang ng pera anywhere. But you know, one of the secrets of business, you have to separate your business, your business money from your personal money. That's the only way you can make sure you can grow your income. You grow your business, and that's where we will guide you as well. No, driven us, our, our entrepreneurship uh, experience, me personally, in running a company is for the past 10 years. My partners are a bit older than me, so I'm being modest. Baka magalit sila sa akin. They have longer years of experience in business. Ayan. So, ayun. Uh, so at least, diba, we're, we're, we're doing that. That's what we can offer to you. So what we're telling you is we have to accrue yung potential expense, no? about 788 per trip. Kasama dyan yung VAT, maintenance, insurance, business permit renewal na ginagawa mo every year or every month. Natatabi na natin yan, wag mo nang galawin. So that, yung talagang actual income mo na 1,137 per trip. Again, these are, these figures might change depende, di ba, sa presyo ng gas and everything. But just for presentation purposes, no, we did this, we did this on an actual uh, computation, by the way. No, so 26 days you will you'll be having a net income talaga na 29,000. It's really good pa rin for one truck. Diba? So let's check on the profitability. Kung kumikita ka ng 104,000, yun yung sales mo. If you're spending 53,950, your monthly gross income talaga is 50,050. No? And most people again will get this 50,000 and spend for their family. Uh, hindi dapat ganun. Yun yung gusto, ko palang i, gusto kong ituro pa lang sa, sa lahat ng gusto mag-start ng business. Or even if you have an existing business, that's really one way for us to make sure we have business longevity. 
sakripisyo muna sa simula para mag-grow yung business so that in the future you can retire earlier. Diba? So that your business runs for you and provides for your needs. Ganun talaga sa simula. Wala namang agad-agad gasusin mo. Eh. Yun ang mali ng karamihan. Now, on the right side, you can see that yung 50,015, nilipat lang natin, monthly gross income, ibabas mo yung mga accrual mo na 20,488, wherein, again, you might have potential savings, hindi yan lahat gastos. No? Pwede tayo makatipid sa maintenance, pwede tayo makatipid sa VAT, right? so, pero tinatabi natin yun. Para ang gagaso si mo lang, yung net income ng truck mo, 29,562. Right? So, um, that's about it. Diba? So, now, ano yung next steps? DJ, exciting yan. Gusto ko yan. Diba? And if you have questions, you can put in the chat box. Mamaya, babasahin ko after this presentation. Or you can leave a comment if you're watching this on YouTube. Diba? So that I can also know. And probably, if mabasa ko yung comment mo, ma-address ma ko na kaagad. Diba? So, what are the next steps? Here we go. No, so, first of all, you gotta know our package. So, our tracking business investment package. So, business to, you need to invest, but you have to think and treat this as a business. It covers the down payment of the truck, uh, about two months working capital, meaning yung panggasos mo for the next two months, kasi a lot of people hindi na ko consider yan. Bakit two months, no? Um, in reality, ang contract natin sa mga companies, pag nagbumiyahe ka ng 15 days, after 15 days, ibibill mo, and then 60 to 90 days yan, guys. 60 to 90 days before yan magbabayad yung connection. Yan talaga kalakaran. We even have experience taon umaabot. No? With, ganun talaga. So, kaya ngayon lang, kung tinatanong ng iba, ang tagal nyo na pala sa business, ba't lang kayo nag-offer? Ngayon lang kayo nag-offer. Kasi ngayon lang kami naka, gumanda yung cash flow no? sa business. Ganun. Wherein, we can now help the trackers to make sure that within 45 to 60 days, you will get your billing. Ganon. No? Kasi we even have an experience yun nga. Big companies, no? when you're serving big companies, talaga, pahabaan ng PC. Eh. Ganon po talaga yung, yung challenge dyan. No? So it took us years to, to, uh, to recover from that and umikot yung collection. Di ba? Ganon. So... Kaya kailangan mo ng working capital. Kung magsisimula ka ng negosyo, kailangan mo ng working capital. Yung sigurado mong may panggasos ka araw-araw for the next two months at the very least. Right? And then some miscellaneous. No? Yung mga documentation and processing. Uh, kasama na yan dyan. Of course, we will help you with some of the processing. All in all, you just need to think to make it simpler, around 500,000 per truck if you want to start with one truck. Kasama na yan. Makakabili na tayo ng truck dyan. No? So, ganito yung mangyayari dyan. No? So, Um, pag interested ka at ready ka na to start, sabi mo, DJ, sige, gusto ko yan, kaya ko yan, I wanna invest and I wanna be partners with you. The next step is we'll be having a one-on-one -on -one orientation. No? So uh, we will send you a link. Later, I'll give you the link and I will be posting that in this YouTube video as well. Um, for us to schedule the orientation, kailangan namin, kung may mga questions kayo, personally, we have to address that as well. And then... Uh, for you, yun nga, masagot talaga. Para ayaw naman natin ng blindly mag invest ka lang. No? We, we want partners here who really understand no, the pros and cons as well. Ganun. Kasi ayaw namin din na masyadong maraming reklamo, hindi naman naintindihan. You know, kasi negosyo to, we gotta be mature enough to really take care and really you know, talk about everything here. ba? Diba? At the same time, uh, you know, signing of agreement. No? We will be having an agreement as well wherein now we're allowing you na to partner with us, yan, ito nga yung rate, let's say 4,000 per trip, ganyan, with a certain requirement. And then, of course, you gotta avail of the package. Now, after availing of the package, now we can now start buying your truck. No? So we have um, suppliers as well to make it easy for you, di ba? No? So that they can provide the documentations na rin ang kailangan ng truck to be registered in LTFRB. Kasabay nito, kailangan mo mag... Register na negosyo mo, no? pwedeng DTI or SEC kung gusto mong partnership or corporation. Um, but of course, the fastest way is DTI muna, di ba? Para makapagsimula ka na kagad. Ganon. So, you can have your own business name. Of course, best, ikaw yung mag-asikaso niyan. No, ngayon, kapag dumadami yung demand na kailangan kami mag-asikaso, especially kapag maraming nasa abroad, then we might form a team again. So, right now, to be honest, wala pa kami team dyan kasi dapat kayo yung gumagawa talaga. But again, As the need arises, a lot of inquiries, um, we want to help the people. We understand there are people who are far from 
the Manila or you know walang time or nasa abroad no but of course your 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 spouse can do that for you naman or your family or ikaw mismo diba um so whatever works for you no just talk to us kaya nga one on one to um it we can address your needs ganun natin siya gagawin we can be flexible no so and then after that now we will register na sa LTFRB there are list of requirements hindi natin yan mailagay lahat ngayon no but may requirements yan sa LTFRB but definitely you gotta have a truck already i-register mo yung truck ganun uh, driver yon so may mga some of the list and of course yung actually the contract no so we will be able to we'll be the one to provide that no usually nanghihingi sila ng hauling contract ganyan yon so for you to be able to register sa LTFRB makukuha ng prangkisa yung truck mo ano kasabay noon pwedeng kahit habang hinihintay yung LTFRB franchise kaya yung araw na sa gitna you can already start pulling drivers and helpers mag-interview ka na Diba? So, yun yung next thing na pwede mong gawin. No? So, and then, pag feeling, feel mo na talaga siya, ganun, then, we can already start sending them sa orientation. No? So, we suggest na at least three days mag act sila as helper no? to some of the trucks. Ganun, para makita nila yung operation on their own. No? Dito, sa time na to, babayaran mo sila minimal fee lang kasi syempre pumapasok sila. Eh. Diba? Ganun. So, um, that can be part of your you know, um, operating budget or operating expenses. Um, so we highly recommend that you will be the one to hire your own driver and helper kasi sila rin yung, bukod sa amin, sila yung kapartner mo talaga. Pag hindi sila pumasok, affected yung operation mo. No, I have a cousin na nag-invest din siya dito. Um, minsan, pag hindi pumapasok yung driver niya, napipilitan siya yung mag-drive. Yun po yung realidad talaga o yung asawa niya. Meron din akong cousin na babae. No, sila ng asawa niya nagda-drive ng truck nila. Ganun. So, minsan, oh, minsan, minsan, kasi they're, they're really dedicated to their business. Sabi nila, um, nagbabayad ka ng amortization, so dapat talaga, gawin mo yung kailangan, di ba? So, um, it really helps if kilala mo si helper or driver. Now, we, are, we have a team in recruitment and in HR, we are also trying to pull drivers as well. So, we can recommend some if we have a list, but we still highly recommend, even as abroad ka, meron namang Zoom, di ba? Or um, video chat. Interviewin mo pa rin kung sino man ito, di ba? Kasi negosyo to, guys. Kailangan talaga, you're on top of your business as well. So yun naman, yun lang. At the very least, dito talaga, you should be hands-on in your driver and helper. Ito yung isa sa, um, as much as possible, we want you to be involved. Right? No, kasi sila yung pang-araw-araw eh. Di ba? Yun. With orientation and training, we can help already kasi we have already partners for that no, dun sa mismong planta na. Ayan. And then of course, now we can start orientation operation once okay na yung prangkisa. Di ba? Anytime naman yan pwedeng ipasok. Yun. So, let's just briefly discuss itong ano, itong uh, ta dito, itong agreement din natin. Di ba? So, when you when enter the partnership, ito yung mga initial things that we can uh, already talk about right now. First, you will sign an exclusive contract to serve only PTV. Yun yung uh, group natin, no? Philippine Tracking Business. We want to make it simple yung pangalan. Uh, kasi wala ka rin na rin namang time to serve other clients. no? Because the goal is really to, to have clients day one to day six meaning Monday to Saturday, Sunday lang ang pahinga. The good thing with this business model is B2B tayo. Kasi you have two choices, di ba? B2C or B2B. Yung B2C, consumer yung nangangailangan. Let's say may kailangan ng lipat bahay, so mag ads ka sa Facebook, mag ads ka sa Sulit before, I don't know kung saan ka pa mag ads di ba? Para makakuha ka ng kliyente. Di ba? Naalala ko nung naghanap ako ng, ng lipat bahay, nung lumipat kami last January, yun. Search ako sa marketplace, doon ako nakakita. Diba? Pero you're at the mercy of the schedule. Diba? Pwede, pwede ka ma-zero. Dito naman, business na yung nangangailangan. So you have a contract, tuloy-tuloy ka, ganyan. Uh, so all you need to do is just serve every single day. Make sure ayos ang dokumento. Make sure tumatakbo yung track mo. Yun lang talaga. Diba? So, and then the billing will be every 15 days with 45 to 60 day terms. No? So we will do our best para 45 days bayad na. No, ganun. So para yun nga, in 60 days, 
umikot na yung pera mo. Yung kinita mo, pwede mo nang pang-operate ulit. No, ganun natin siya gagawin. No, so, uh, again, yung, we will be forming a team to help in maintenance, filing of taxes with the minimal fee. No, so, lalo na sa yung documentation. Siyempre, kung magpa-file lang tax mo para sa sa'yo, hindi na naman dapat alay natin trabaho yun. No, so, if ever, uh, especially when we're already big, na marami na tayong partners, uh, we might offer that service as well. No, ganun yung gawin natin. Or unti-unti, we have multiple partners already. Ganun. For the meantime po kasi, karamihan ng partners namin are trackers talaga. They do, their, do, they do it on their own. No, ganun po yan. No, but right now, since we're doing it with the driven team, again, our business model will always be we want to make it easy for people. No, so, yun yung gusto natin. Okay, so maintenance again, we we are again the the more trucks kasi mas maganda. It's it makes sense for us to build a team for uh for the maintenance. Ganon. Kung isa lang yan, hindi pa it doesn't make sense, de ba? Pero kung sampu tayo, de ba? Ida pa talaga may team na tayo for that. No, lagi na may gagawin prevent preventive maintenance na kaysa kung kailan may sira, cakak ka nagpapagawa. Ganon. So we can also help you open a checking account if ever you need one. No, for the amortization of the truck. No, we will be we will deposit the amount of the amortization straight to your bank. So, pag nagopen ka ng account, ang gagawin namin kung magkano yung amortization mo, ibabawas na namin sa kita mo. Iuhulog na natin yun dun sa truck. Okay lam ba yon? No, ganon para hindi mo siya magalaw. No, yun yung gusto namin mangyari because we want to ensure business continuity. Yon. So, hindi naman yung, ay, wala kasi ako may pambayad, mahatak yung truck ko, ganyan. So, we want to make sure mabayaran mo yung truck. We will also handle the accrued amount to make sure that you always have budget for maintenance and future expenses like yung marine inland insurance, ganyan. Other, um, yun nga, yung mga business registration which you need to pay every year. Yon. So, we will make sure, we want to handle that for you as well. No? Para naiipon mo siya, hindi siya nagagalaw. Yun. So and then um, we will also handle the budgeting of the operational expenses para yung deployment ng tao ganon uh, and then of course yung gas yan nababayaran and then salaries yun nga toll pang yung budget sa toll kung kakailanganin ayun no so ito yung mga ilan sa mga agreements so what are your advantages being part of this group no um and i just list Ted down a few. The first thing is you will be a preferred provider, dahil you're in a big group that really gives good um, service to the clients. No, in fact, one of our major clients, um, talagang tayo yung top provider. No, kaya preferred din yung rates. That's actually one of the reasons why we can give a higher rate. No, the rates are negotiated because we said na again, if you want. Um, quality service, dapat mas maganda yung bayad. Ganun yung, ganun namin sila uh, tarito pinapatakbo. Kasi we have coordinators in the site. We have coordinators off-site. Ganun. So, gumagasos tayo. So, dapat lang mas maganda yung bayad sa atin. So, um, ang maganda rito, hindi ka, hindi papansinin no, ng, ng kliyente mo. Ganun. So, laging kang makakausap. Yun ang maganda. Number two, you have a recurring business. You make sure that you know whatever happens you will always have business for you hindi ka mahirapang humanap ng kliyente because we are a group no pag isa ka lang dalawa lang truck mo hindi ka po papansinin ng kumpanya di ba pero kung group tayo mas madali tayo ngayong mag-offer ng services to different clients even if we one of the ex, the, the contracts expire we can always um, negotiate with different companies di ba and Again, my dad has experience towards that, no. So he has worked as an executive, din naman sa different companies, kano. So you know he knows how to to talk to the management as well. No, third, use of the system. So again, ito yung isasay import. Para ka nag franchise pero again hindi to franchising, but because that's always been how we do business. No, we wanna create a system to make it sustainable for everyone, and then you just follow that system. Ganon siya. And that makes businesses strive for a very long time, right? The reason why nine out of ten businesses during the first year or first three years because again, akala nila mag may pera lang okay na. Pero you know, continuously you have to 
improve your system and adapt to changing times. Right? Ang maganda rito, number four, you own a truck. Di ba? Meron kang sariling truck. Sa'yo siya nakapangalan. So, um, again, hindi namin ito, kumbaga parang, we, we wanna make sure na yung pera mo may pinuntahan talaga. Ano man mangyari, may truck ka. Kung umayaw ka man sa negosyo na to, pwede mong ibenta yung truck mo. Parang ganun. No? So, talagang wala kang talo. Number five, yun nga, maintenance assistance. As I mentioned, we wanna really help everyone na ma-maintain yung track para tuloy-tuloy yung negosyo. Yun naman yung goal eh. Dapat tumatakbo talaga siya. No? And then, in, kaya to may asterisk, this is in the future, we might be able to have savings on parts. Kunyari, yung gulong. No? Bibilin natin yung gulong. 8,000 per gulong. Papalit ka anim kasi six-wheeler yan, di ba? So, baka kesa mabili natin ng 8,000, we can get it at 7,500. So, you have 500 na discount no? per gulong. No, 3,000 din yun kung anim. Ganun. Because we're buying in bulk. That's what we will do for you. No? Um, when we work as a team, um, marami tayong, kumbaga, maraming magiging benefit as a team. Yun yung maganda dyan. No? So lahat tayo makakasave on parts. Yun yung gusto natin mangyari. And that's, uh, that's how we will take care of you, our partners. Next is, yun, yun nga, yung documents processing. No? Maraming documentation. Siyempre, we will help you with that. Hopefully, with the filing of taxes as well. Um, we have 10 years experience of do, dealing with BIR na din naman. Di ba? So, we want to help you as well with that. No? Hindi man, kung hindi man 100%, at least there's really assistance. And, you know, you can always consult with us. And ito sa isa pinaka-important, business coaching and assistance. No, because again, me, I'm a business coach for so many years. I do consulting services with different companies. I do different training as well. Um, so you get that for free, technically. Diba? So you can talk to us um, most of the time. Diba? I have a lot of Facebook pages if you want to talk to me. I have a YouTube channel if you want to talk to me. Diba? So you can always ask questions and you know, we can assist you with that because we will treat you as partners. Again, I've been 10 years in business, maybe more, and I love businesses wherein the only way I can make money is when I help other people make money as well. No, so yun yung um, design of businesses ko. That's why I I I lead teams. No, I have teams in real estate. I have teams in life insurance as well. So um, the only way I can make money is for these people, uh, my advisors and my agents, to also be successful. So that's our goal here as well for you, our partners, dito sa trucking business. But we want you to be successful entrepreneurs. There's a lot of um, wealth in this world. Hindi natin kayang solohin yan. So dapat lahat tayo kumita so that we can make this nation a better place. Diba? Yun yung part of the mission talaga. Last but not the least is potential savings on diesel. So again, when we become a fleet talaga, maramihan, we might be able to get supply right, for diesel. Ayan yung maganda dyan. And makatipid man tayo ng piso or dalawang piso sa per liter, di ba? Malaking bagay na yun kasi yan ang major cost natin every month or every day tatakbo ka, di ba? So yun, um, that will be another benefit for all of us. Right? So are you enjoying this? If you, if yes, if you like, you're liking, liking this, please comment. Leave a comment and let me know what, what so far are you learning and your realizations from this. Now let's go to the numbers. Let's go to the numbers. Paano ba natin palalakahin itong negosyo na to? Kasi again, the goal is for you to have a growing and profitable business. Right? So, let's talk about again the, um, the package. Right? So, the package, again, it's 500,000. And I gave a screenshot here of what one truck or how the investment in one truck will run. Diba? Sa first three years, maliit pa yung pwede mong kitain. You get an annual income of 105,732. Bakit? Nagbabayad ka pa ng amortization. But even though, magkano lang naman nilabas mo yung 500,000, guys, kasama na yung pang-operate dyan. So technically, hindi lang, pinang-ikot mo lang yun. So talagang kinumpit na natin yun dyan. ba diba? You will ROI in 3.5 years. So 3.5 years, bawi mo yung 500,000, may truck ka pa na pwede pang tumakbo for the next 10 to 12 years kasi the, usually the franchise is 15 years. Right? So your truck can still, you know, serve at least for the next 7 to 10 years, let's just say, if you want to, you know, sell your truck and then buy a new one. Diba? 
So in 3.5 years, technically your 500,000 becomes 1 million pesos. Ganun yung mangyayari. So very few businesses and investments can give you around 28.6% annual return. No, that we're, you can double your money in three and a half years. So that's just what this slide is showing you. And ang maganda rito, after three years, starting on your fourth year, now you're give, that your truck is giving you 354,000 income every single year. Right? So it's exciting. By the way, in my computation, um, hindi lang naisama rito yung shuttle, mortgage, and insurance. Approximately, I would think it's around 40,000. No, you have to pay for that. No, kasi dinadagdag yan dun sa when you purchase a truck. Ganon. Um, but you know, since you're, um, you know, you're going in early here, what we're thinking is probably we'll give a promo for the first five people who will be part of us. And let's see if we can waive the 40,000 40, or at least half of it. No, if we can get good deals with the trucks. No, baka pwede namin kayo matulungan no, to also um, get rid of the 40,000 initially. But I cannot promise this for all because it would depend on uh, our supplier as well. Diba? Nagbabago rin po yung presyo, nagmamahal din. Diba? So, um, this is what we can do for you. Again, it's all estimate. No? Estimate ko nasa 40,000 per truck yan. Okay, now, so, let's see how your business will grow. Diba? So, again, as you can see, your net income, if you would notice the previous slides, 29,562 per truck. Pero nagbabayad ka ng amortization, let's see, let's say 20,000. This may be lower, let's say 19,000. But for the purpose of illustration, para hindi over project, di ba? Kung magmahal man ng truck, sabi natin 20,751, you still have a net income of 8,811. And again, this is net, net, net. No? Sinave mo na dito yung, yung amortization mo, sinave mo na yung pang-maintenance mo, sinave mo na yung VAT mo. Again, you can have potential savings sa but let's say another 2,000, so magiging 10,000 na yan, 11,000, di ba? Um, gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo na even alisin natin yan lahat, may kita per truck. Kung magisimula ka ng dalawang truck, 17,000 yan a month. Kung magisimula ka ng tatlong truck, 26,000 yan a month. No, if you're looking on the last slide, year 1 to year 3 yan. Paano ngayon kung <clears throat> mag-grow pa siya? Notice again, na take note, that your truck gets fully paid at the end of year three. Diba? After three years, fully paid na yan truck kasi yung computation natin, three years to pay lang. We want to pay it as fast as we can para again, hindi ito nagdadrag. No? At the same time, mostly, most suppliers would want it three years to pay lang din talaga. You know? So let's follow that anyway. No? So let's see paano pwedeng mag-grow yung income mo. Diba? So kung one truck, after... So first year 8811 ka per month no pero pagdating ng year 4 29,562 a month ka na so lumalaki na siya kung two trucks ka yung 17,622 mo on year 4 magiging 59,000 a month na siya Ang ganda na nito pwede na tong bumuhay sa pamilya di ba Kasi net income na to no naitabi mo na yung iba Ganon. And then kung 3 trucks ka, almost 100,000. Again, there's a possibility mag-100,000 yan depende sa other savings na nagagawa natin. Diba? So imagine the income after 4 years, or after 3 years. So, this is the potential of this business. Now, what I always say is, how many years have passed already? How many 3 years have passed in our lives? How many 3 years yung hinintay natin? Diba? Hindi naman din ganun kalaki yung inilaki ng income natin, let's say in our employment, probably. So, what is another three years to wait? No, ito yung gusto kong ma-imagine ninyo. We start slow, and then unti-unti, let's get the ball rolling. Let's talk about ROI and rate of return. Now, if, again, if you have questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Um, and later, I can still... Um, go back to some of the slides no, kung wayarong hindi clear but hopefully I'm making myself clear in my uh, explanation. Right? So tignan natin ano yung pwede maging return. No? Paano siya kikita. Diba? Ito na rin yung first slide kanina, yung one track. Diba? Yung doon sa binangga natin kanina wherein you're making 105,000 per year net income mo sa year one to year three. Pero after three years, 354,744 na siya. Again, 
after 3.5 years nag ROI ka na pero hindi lang siya ROI na bumalik lang yung 500,000 mo. 'Di ba? May track ka na, may business system ka pa. Kung two tracks 'yan, itingnan mo yung income mo after 3 years. Nag-annual income ka na ng 709,000. And kung three tracks 'yan, potentially nag-annual income ka na ng 1 million. 64,232. So you're almost earning six figures a month. No, you're earning millions year after year. Right? After three years. So that's really the goal. No? Talagang umabot ng three years yung negosyo. Kaya nga, again, we have to manage our finances really well. We have to make sure the truck is really running because this can give the financial freedom that we wanted. This can give the early retirement that we wanted. If you're an OFW, you want to go home for good. Right? This is it. Or if you, even if you're an employee and you want to have more relaxed, uh, you know, lifestyle. Marami ka paring pwedeng gawin. No, pwede ka paring magbenta sa driven ng real estate. Just nagplug lang ako ng konte, de ba? <laughs> pwede ka paring magbenta with us as a salesperson. So while you're enjoying selling, you have a business running on the side, de ba? You have now two streams of income, less pressure. Uh, that's the goal. So, this is exciting. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This ano uh, before this presentation no so i really did my best to make this really understanding for you no so you really have a deeper understanding for you ito yon sige tingnan natin let's let's look at a 10 year plan what if you start with one truck diba if you start with one truck your annual investment or net, sorry net income is 105732 for one year For year, yeah, for year one, two, and three. But after year four, now it becomes three hundred fifty-four thousand seven hundred forty-four. Now this is my question: Di ba after three years na balik na yung five hundred thousand mo? Do you think you would want to buy a new truck? Ah, comment nga kayo kung gusto mong bumili ng truck after one year. Gagawin mo ba yon? Pag gumili ka ng new truck, yun ito mangyayari. On year 4, doble na yung income mo, di ba? Right? So, year 1, 2, 3, sige, mabagal. Pag year 4, pwedeng dalawa na yung truck mo. Di ba? And we're doing just doing this low, no? Ito yung gusto kong i-realize nyo. Yung annual net income mo of your trucks on year 4 becomes 354,744 plus 105,732. It becomes 460,000. 476. My question is, with this income, can you buy another truck? Kung yari may trabaho ka parin, kung yari na sa abroad ka parin, de ba? And then this is inipon mo to, magaling ka sa invest sa savings, no? Sinayib mo siya, de ba? Pinaiikot mo yung pera. No, can you buy another truck? So hopefully yes. So ngayon you don't need to wait for another three years. After one year, you buy another truck. Ito na po yung mga yari jan, de ba? So on year five. You're making around five hundred sixty-five, sixty-six thousand already. E malamang year six ganon nilit gagawin mo, di ba? Kasi kung migitan na naman ng five hundred thousand, pina ikot mo na naman, di ba? So you're already making six hundred thousand a year, right? On your year, on year six, pwede ng ganon yung mga yare. Kaya yun alam po ba compute beyond this, no? Kasi na ubusan ako ng space. Yeah, tsaka yung more than year 10. Diba? But take a look at year 8. O year 9. Year 9, you're making almost um, 1 million. It's around 900 plus thousand. Year 10. Sorry, year 7 pala yun. Year 7, you're making almost 900,000. O 900,000 plus. Almost 1 million. Year 8, you're making how much? 1.1 plus 1.25 million. Diba? Year 9, 1.4 million year 10 ganun din 'di ba so now your business is growing already probably you can retire after four trucks no kung gusto mo nang ihawakan yung profit mo so depende ganun so again there should be a plan in any goal especially a big goal there should be a plan right if you're 40 years old right now maybe you can still wait for the next 10 years you retire at age 50 bata pa rin yun 'di ba so bumabawi ako ha yeah, so bata pa rin yun 'di ba so yun um You can do that, but what is ten years of doing business, de ba? Ganu naman siya talaga. So this is our vision for you guys. This is how we want your business to grow, 
really. No, and here our team is dedicated to really help you uh, and help the Filipinos have uh, another option. And I'm so excited you know, when I did this computation actually, you know, because now I can see that we can really help more people through this business. All right, so let's have a few FA frequently asked questions. Now probably you're thinking, what if I already have my own truck? No, can I uh, partner with you? Okay, yes, but you have to provide the provisional authority from LTFRB. No, so, kung meron ka ng truck, dapat may prangkisa na yan, di ba? So, let's, uh, if yes, then, then let's talk. No? So, again, we prioritize six-wheeler first. For those who are asking mga four-wheelers, um, I'm again, I'm talking to our clients, we still have to have a further meeting with that. No? Kasi nga, we have to at least convince them na, okay, ito, ito yung meron kami, ganyan. So, again, based on negotiation, ganyan. But definitely, pwede naman. Pwede naman. We cannot just tell gaano karami. Ganun. Kaya nga, we're focusing on uh, what they want, syempre. Ganun naman talaga, no? kung ano yung gusto ng kliyente mo, yun dapat ang ibigay mo para may benta ka. Ganun. So, can I buy my own truck? Yes, you can buy your own truck kung meron kang kausap, pero you have to process your own LTFRB. We will not process it for you. Diba? Yun lang yung gagawin din namin. Kasi, Again, um, that's part of the package, right? So, next, what if I don't have my own garage? Um, definitely, we have our we have a garage, but of course, kung dadami tayo, hindi tayo kakasya dyan. So, we're already looking for a bigger garage already. And you, you can start with, naman, kung meron ka, you can use that din muna. No? But definitely, six days of the time, actually, nasa labas yung truck mo. Kasi ang naglo-load tayo, in our client, current client ngayon, sa gabi, nag-load tayo from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And then, yung mga truck minsan, yun nga, magbagarahe sila, then they just pay for, a, in less than 12 hours, lalabas na sila before mag sa is kung minsan, ganun. So, hindi na sila kailangan uuwi. Hindi na sila uuwi usually sa parking mo nung gabi na yun, unless malapit ka, di ba, doon sa, sa planta kung saan nagpipick up. Now, for the meantime, ngayon, muntin lupa. No, muntin lupa yung ano natin yung client natin. Doon tayo nagpipick up and then we deliver within 70 kilometer radius. Ganun. So kung taga Marikina ka, alam ka naman umuwi pa ng Marikina tapos magde-deliver let's say sa um, let's say Cavite, di ba? Malayo. Ganun. Ngayon, kung papuntang north, pwede. Dumaan sa'yo, doon muna mag-park. So again, hindi everyday. Ganun. So that's why we we are always flexible depende sa takbo. No? Ganun yung mangyayari. Kung ano yung may mga orders and dispatch, doon pupunta yung truck. So, pwedeng papalayo sa'yo, pwedeng papalapit sa'yo. Ganon. So, yan. Nabanggit ko na kanina. So, uh, around seven years we've been in the trucking business already. Probably more. Um, and actually, there are three companies working together for this. No? So, three companies po yung nagtutulong to, for this no? to really handle the situation. So, you're, you're technically partnering with a big group already. No? That's what we're doing. Uh, so, now, I hope I've covered what you want to hear. So what I'm telling you is, again, we are doing our best to help you guys and to really make this, um, you know, worthwhile for you. And our proposition is for you to partner with us. Let's partner now. Or let's be partners now. If you're interested, this is what you need to do. You go to this website, www.drivengroup.com.ph slash PTB Partnership 2020. There's a registration form there if you're really willing to start now. No? So, there's parang yung questionnaire na sinagot mo lang dito for this seminar. You can just go here so that we know who, who will be interested and we, probably we can contact you as well. Ganon. And set you yung one-on-one. -on -one, no? Again, depende kung kailan ka ready or kung, kung ano man yung um, tarito yung situation mo. No? Depende kung kailan ka mag start ganyan. So, at, at least magkaroon tayo ng further conversation. ba? So that's what you need to do. You just you just go here and register. You can also contact me in my Facebook page. Walang problema. There I answer. Um, so that's DJ Dimaliwat and on Facebook, right? So you can also leave a comment here. I will definitely answer as well if you have some questions, right? So this is the time for question and answers. Now I'm opening the floor for your questions. So let me check your chats. Tignan natin. I thank you very much for listening. Let me can show my face again. Thank you very much for your time. Now let's 
read your comments. Okay, sorry dun sa mga hindi nakarinig ng audio. No, may audio na doon yun sa mga ano yata. Tarito sa mga sa connection nyo. And you have to join audio yun. Connect your audio. If you fail to to see some of the earlier presentations, you can go to my YouTube channel and you can replay later. Right? It's already posted there. Yeah, si Jacob from Riyadh. Okay, good na daw yung audio ni John. Sorry sa mga hindi ko na-admit earlier. Again, ang hirap mag-present tapos mag-approve. No? Actually, walang nag-prompt din. Ayan, sabi ni Apple, iPad. Need to diversify my existing unit, which is van unit. Okay. Pa, ayan, sabi ni Romel, paano kung may track na halimbawa, pwede bang magpa-accredit? Ano po requirement ko sa kare? Yun. So yun nga, nabanggit ko na Romel, Uh, you have to get your provisional authority sa LTFRB. Ang challenge kasi, pag luma na yung track mo, baka hindi na bigyan. Yun lang challenge. Kasi, um, yun nga eh, ayaw din ng LTFRB na sobrang luma no, yung mga track na tumatakbo. Ganun. That's why we really highly recommend that you buy a new track or yung mga reconditioned. Ganun. Or remanufactured yung minanufactured dito para ang rehistro niya bago. No, yung CR niya, 2017 to 2019. That's what we want. Right? Yes, kasali na po ba sa 500K yung LTFRB branch registration? Yes, 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 yes. Yun. We want to um, to include that there already. Ayan. Yun, magkano po ang sahong driver at helper? Ayan, how much ang track down payment at amortization fee? I think na, nasagot ko na yung amortization fee earlier. No, so dun sa presentation around 20,000 on the average 21,000. Ang sahod ng driver for a six wheeler van is 800 per day. Hindi po sila empleyado ha. So this is parang self-employed sila, ganun. So pag wala no no drive, no trip, no pay. Yung helper 600. Yun yung ongoing rates 2020 rates. Ganun. So what will be the profit sharing setup between driven and business partner? Again, it's not profit sharing. Whatever yung takbon track mo, yun yung kikitain ng ng unit mo. So pwedeng mag-iba-iba, no? Kung merong unit na talagang maayos, no? Kunyari yung may-ari, yung on top of things then making sure yung dokumento okay, ganyan na deliver nang tama, hindi walang nawawalan dokumento, ganyan hindi uma-absent yung driver. Kung merong nawalan driver, mabilis mapalitan, ganyan. So, mas malaki yung chance na mas malaki kita mo compared doon sa, let's say, napapabayaan din yung truck. Again, we will do our best. No, kunyari, merong nawalan ng driver, kaya kami nagpupuling weekend para mabilis makarecover. But definitely, posibleng may mga days na matulog muna yung truck mo, di ba, habang nagpapalit. Yun lang naman yung mga risk. And in, in any business naman, there's risk. Di ba, normal naman yun. Ganun. So again, we don't wanna promise anything na Again, too good to be true. We also want to say already na ito negosyo to, lahat ng negosyo may risk, but we are helping you mitigate those risks. That's why we're working as a team. Ganun. And maybe we can learn with one another, di ba? Maybe once in a while we have our annual meeting, ganyan, we can share with one another. I'm definitely a trainer as well. I, I have training in personal development, so maybe we can do some special training for you guys, our partners. Hindi lang about tracking business, di ba? Probably in the future, reinvest your money in other um, investment opportunities. We can do that as well, di ba? So again, ang dami ako na iisip na to to empower you guys, our partners, no, um, to grow your your business and your money even more. Right? That's really the plan. Yeah. So mga yes, yes, you want that? Okay. So yeah, Jan, Michael, Revilla, um, Recon, siya. No, um, kasi kung sobrang-sobrang brand new, unang-una, medyo mahal yan, mahigit 1 million yung truck. If you choose to do that, pwede naman. Kaya lang, based on our experience, nagagasgasan din naman, ganyan. Ang mahalaga yung maintenance ng truck, eh. hindi yung brand new or recon. Eh. Ganun eh. Uh, basta tumatak mo ng maayos at minemaintain mo ng maigi, um, tatagal yung truck mo. No, that's, that's the experience here. Kasi kung bagong-bago, minsan ang sakit, eh, naibangga, ganun, nangyayari, di ba? 
Ang sakit minsan pag sobrang bago ang mahal eh. Tapos mas mataas yung depreciation niya kaagad. So since hindi mo naman to for your comfort, di ba? you're not buying this for your comfort and not for the comfort of your driver. Di ba? Uh, this is for business. Di ba? So as much as possible, we wanna do good. Right? Sige. Sige. So yeah, if you have questions, so chat na lang sa, sa IG. That's good. Okay, meron ako truck kaya lang kaya ba four wheels, uh, 10 feet aluminum van 2012. Let me see about that kaya lang yun nga uh, dahil four wheels, mas maliit kasi yung um, capacity. Again, based on our experience, halos same lang yung expense ng four wheeler sa six wheeler. Halos same lang. Bayad mo sa driver, diesel, toll fee, pero mas malaki yung capacity ng six wheeler. Kaya the clients would want to pay more sa six-wheeler. Yun yung sikreto doon. Ganon. So, we will ask. Again, doon sa mga nagtatanong ng four-wheelers, marami rin nag-PPM sa akin. I'm still talking to them. I cannot promise how many. Sa, 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 sa six-wheeler, we're looking for 100. That's the goal. Probably even more kasi we want to expand our client base. Actually, maraming clients na kumakausap, hindi lang kami maka-oo kasi nga doon sa isang client pa lang, kulang na yung provide namin na truck. Ganun po yung demand ng trucking and logistics industry. Kung kami bibili ng truck, magkano starting capital? Most probably around half of that, mga 250, 200, ganyan. Um, let's have just a one-on-one -on -one, um, consultation for that. No, depende sa plano mo, pwede rin yun. Okay. In case of accident, anong coverage for insurance for goods? So, um, that's why we're getting marine inland for the goods, yung loob, di ba? Pini-insure natin yung laman. And then, of course, there's a separate insurance yung truck dapat. When you register sa LTO, ganyan. Kinukuha mo dapat siya ng, ng insurance. No? So, um, yeah, do we need to allot an amount of, uh, or, or for any expense? Um, wala lang akong specific computation, no? pero maganda yung tanong mo, sino ba to? Si Galvin, maganda yung tanong mo, bro. Um, dapat siyempre nagkakaroon hindi mo inuubos talaga lahat kasi probably yun nga there will be some repairs di ba na medyo malaki talaga of course we we computed yung regular maintenance ganyan change oil palit ng piyesa gulong ganyan but kung talagang medyo may major accident or everything hopefully the insurance covers for that of course we will buy the required insurance din naman sinama natin yan sa computation as much as possible so LTO insurance and then yung ano yung marine inland for the goods. Um, hindi ko masabi yung exact rate ng accident eh, for this type of business. But definitely, hindi yan zero, di ba? Ganon. So, um, meron na puputo ka ng gulong, mga ganon. And so, um, that's just, just normal, di ba? But not too high din naman. No? Of course, as much as possible, mas lamang pa rin yung, um, tawag dito, yung hindi na sisiraan or hindi na aaksidente kasi sa naaksidente ganun yun so that's why maganda rin yung mas smaller yung dala mo again that's our experience sa 10 wheeler ang challenging ng 10 wheeler kasi ang daming dala tapos pag tumaob yan ganyan or yun nga sa dami pa ng ng dala mong uh, what you call this dala mong mga goods di ba mas high risk ganun siya so yung six-wheeler, at least mas madali talaga siyang i-manage. I cannot really answer the specific rate of risk because definitely there will always be risk. Kahit nga nagdadrive ka ng sarili mong kotse, pwede rin talagang mabangga. Eh. Ganun. So yun. Okay, wait. Ano pa? On, sabi ni Fermin, on average, how many trips per day per truck? One trip per day. No, kasi for example... Um, let's say about 3 to 4 trips, 3 to 4 drops yung trip. Isa yun yung 4,000. Pupunuin ka talaga ng kliyente. Tapos you have to do that trip. Ganun yung usapan dyan. No, minsan isa lang, isang bagsakan lang. Minsan multiple. No, ganun siya. And then balik ka na lang ulit. No, so yun na yung tinasabing trip. Isang trip lang talaga per day. Yun yung 4,000. Ganun. So that's the agreement for that. Walang backload ito unless may ibalik yung kliyente. Ganon. So, hindi mo kailangang isipin magkaumausap sa kliyente. Kailangan takbo ka lang ng takbo. Ganon. Okay. So, sample na basaga ng Bote, Wild and Road. Ganyan. Gato yung nangyayari dyan, uh, Galvin. So, um, before i-load, triple check. Tinicheck yan ng driver, ng coordinator, tsaka ng guard. Ganon. Tinitriple check yung loading. Ganon. So, we wanna make sure 
no kasi part ng training to ng driver we want to make sure na before i load um talito walang sira ganun so and then kapag ibinaba no kapag binaba i-check din kung walang sira ganun so uh, of course part of that talaga kaya kailangan chine-check talaga ng maigi nung driver no of course hindi naman yan isasalansan ng may risk na mabasag hindi natin hindi pa pwedeng gawin yun pangalawa talaga bihira yung mababasag kasi karamihan ng dine-deliver natin for now for now for our client are mga plastic bottles ganun plastic bottles mga tanks ng soft drinks ganyan yung tsaka in cans ng soft drinks hindi the bottles ng let's say San Miguel ganyan or Coke ganun hindi ganun eh na mabigat yun hindi ganun hindi ganun yung dala natin yan so Jerson from for partners from provinces where to register in province or in Manila Uh, Manila lang kasi sa ngayon Manila yung kliyente natin. That's why we will be helping you in the operations. No kasi we are understand we understand probably some of you are away from Metro Manila. We you can still have this business. Ganun yung pwedeng mangyari, 'di ba? So uh, that's the goal. Right? So dito tayo, dito tayo kasi may tao kami doon sa site. Eh. May tao kami sa site, may coordinator kami doon uh, to make sure talaga na less problem for you guys. Do you have any plan to branch out with clients from provinces? I don't know yet because ngayon pa lang we have our hands full. And then if we will be expanding even more, dito lang muna sa malapit din. Kasi again, um, I cannot say yet. Of course, we are not closing our doors probably kapag sobrang laki na. Pero why do that kung marami ka ng kliyente rito? It doesn't make sense, di ba? Kasi logistically or even let's say operationally, pag meron kang magaling na tao na yun nagbabantay, Ayaw mo namang mag-hire ka pa na naman ng another tao for that, di ba? Medyo challenging yun, ganun. So, business-wise, I would say I cannot still project because, again, mas madali yun kung marami na ka, ka ng clients dito. Eh. So, okay. How long does it take to start a processing of documents the actual start of operation? Probably in a month. Kasi yung LTFRB franchise, mga 20 days yan. Eh. And then yung, yung DTI mo naman, in one, one day, di ba? Kaya yun in a day. Um, BIR mo, pwede ka namang mag-apply. Tapos, hintay, may resibo ka, hintay mo lumabas. Although 30 days usually lumalabas yun. Ganun. So in 30 days, probably, you can already start. Right? So pag nasimula na natin yung processing, ang mahalaga naman dyan, lumabas yung prangkisa. Yun talaga. Yeah. How many partners pl- trucks you plan to build? We're targeting at least 100 first. And then when that's good, we want to expand some more. right? Um, that's been always uh, driven strength really to handle Uh, different partners din naman. Right? So, yun. Yeah, track model, 2017 onwards. Possible po bang mag two trips per day? Yes. Uh, may mga times during peak season, supposedly itong, supposedly ngayong summer, no? kaya lang ECQ, tsaka bago mga December, ganyan, um, bear months, yan, mas malakas. So, may mga times na, yeah, magdoble ka. No, ganon. Possible. So, additional bayad dyan. So there are experiences like that. O, lalo na kung short trip ka lang. May times na ganun eh. Kunyari, sobrang daming order, malapit lang, isang drop ka lang, balik ka, ganun. So possible siyang maging. Yun. So ilang biyahe po isang araw, nasagot ko na siya. Pag maaga na tapos first trip, hindi na po pwede mag second trip. Um, depending nga sa demand. Ganun. So do, during peak season, posible yon. Ngayon, hindi. Pahinga na muna si driver. So si driver minsan masaya rin. Half day na ako, uwi na siya. Alas 12, uwi na. Pero alas 7, punta siya. Kailangan niyang mag-pick up, mag-load. Yung sa TBI package, two months for working capital, para saan po ito? Ayun. So, yun nga. Ito yung para sa gas, toll, salaries. Yun na yun. Umiikot na siya. Ganun. Para may pampaikot ka na, hindi mo na siya alalahanin na may additional pera ka pang ilalabas. Ganun. So, yun yung goal. So, babalik siya kasi, um, o oh, technically, hindi talaga 500,000 yung nilabas mo kasi after... Ang mangyayari doon is yung for the next two months, technically may collectible ka. No? After two months, ganito siya. After 60 days, binil mo to. Yung first 15 days mo, lalabas siya eh. So in any given two months, meron kang ipon na two months. Yun yung working capital. No? So technically, hindi mo siya talaga in-invest sa truck, pero in-invest mo siya sa negosyo. Ganun. So umiikot siya sa'yo. Hindi namin yung ninahawakan. Ganun. So thanks guys. I will open this proposal to my wife. Thank you. Do we need to get our own business permits? Yeah, so Rachel, ideally, you get your own permit. Yes. Um, but again, as I'm telling you, we can we can help. 
again, wala naman kaming hindi tinulungan din. So we will do our best to help you as well or at least to guide you. Maganda pa rin ma-experience mo lalo na ako nasa Pilipinas ka pa rin. No? When I started my own businesses in the, in the past, I really went through their SEC registration, BIR, even filing taxes. So ngayon nagaga, na, na-explain ko, di ba? So mas maganda rin madaanan mo para hindi ka naman, yun nga, wala lang na, humbaga sunod ka lang ng sunod, ganyan. Around how much is the processing fee of DTI and LTFRB? I cannot answer exactly, no? but probably it will take, uh, um, all in all, mga 50,000 uh, LTFRB um, kasama yung mga other processing. Yung, hindi lang yung bayad sa LTFRB eh, kasi marami pang documentations and processing na kailangan gawin. Ganon. DTI mura lang. Eh. Baka yung may, maybe you can start at 1,000. Hindi ko na kasyadong kabisado kung eksakto yung kailangan mong simulan. But mura lang. You just need business name. And then BIR, I think 500 pa rin ang certificate of registration ngayon. So um, just a few. Ganon lang. No? So yon. And then there's other things din kasi that we will help. Of course, we may gasos din kami dito. That's why there's miscellaneous. No? We have staff and different staff that we pay to make sure uh, that you are taken care of. So that's really part of the package. Right? Um, Gerson, it's your decision if you want to get pati yung province. No? Um, technically, initially Luzon. Pero of course, maganda pa rin nationwide na. No? Kasi we already have experiences as well na tumatawid dagat. Di ba? Pumunta ng Tacloban, ganyan, Tugigaraw, ganun. Um, and even, let's say, yun nga, di ba, 70 kilometer radius. Technically, lumalabas talaga ng Manila pag nag-deliver. Let's say, may mga delivery kami, let's say, sa Malabon, or, sorry, Bulacan, like may Kawayan, ganyan, may Lipa. Within 70 kilometer radius yun eh. So even that, Metro Manila, quote-unquote, pero province pa rin siya. Nagkakaroon din kami ng mga Pampanga, Bataan, pag yun ang, ano, yun ang dispatch. So posible kang lumabas ng 70 kilometer radius, pwedeng mas malaki yung kita ng truck. Of course, mayroon ding parang overtime pay si driver doon. May computation din sila doon. Pag more than 70 kilometers, ganun. Um, well, may tari pa yan eh. So hindi ko lang mabigay ngayon. Hindi ko kabisado. Ayun, basta per... May, may tari, tari pa siya. We'll just be sharing it with you uh, once you're on board na lang. Ganun. We cannot give it right now. Ganun. Basta definitely you will be paid accordingly. Ganun. So, do you have other questions? I think I've handled all your questions right now. Right? So, if you're happy and well here, um, my, my only request is go to my YouTube channel and uh, please key in your greatest realizations, yung pinaka nagustuhan nyo sa presentation. Pero oops, meron pa lang comments sa YouTube no I'll also read that. Uh, basta pag kung ano yung nagustuhan niyo, mga realizations so what have you learned from here, please comment in in YouTube, no? Because this is what we'll be have, we'll be doing, no? For the first five people who will be partnering with us, now after this presentation, uh, we'll be uh, giving you that that discount, yung 40,000 pesos na ano tag dito, shuttle mortgage and marine insurance. We will Um, we will do something about it if we can wave it off na. Again, we will just talk to our truck partners. But no, you know, let me know. Contact us as soon as possible. Um, contact me in my page. Register to to that link that I showed you. Right? Drivengroup.com.ph slash PTB Partnership 2020. Right? So I'll still uh, be answering some of the questions. Um Um, Isuzu NQR truck 2017 18 feet closed van um, may LTFRB na ako franchise from Reba Isiha sige so Jess Legaspi from YouTube from Reba Isiha please contact me no we'll still special um, special arrangements yan so um, you can we have to ask I have to ask specifically for those uh, for those um, rates Right, so at least I, I know, 18 feet close van. Sige, I will ask. Right, ilang wheeler yan, let me know. Pag po ba nagbigay na ngayon 500k, mga ilang weeks po para maayos at makabiyahe ang truck? Si Samsung GT, I don't know how to uh, address you. Hindi ko alam yung pangalan mo. Um, because of ECQ, sarado si LTFRB. So unti-unti in natin. That's reality. Huwag natin biglain yung 500,000. We will not ask you 500,000 agad, lalo na ngayon. What we'll be doing is we will be sourcing truck already. 
Ganun yung mangyayari. So, we'll be talking to your truck providers and then we will ask them if they have available kasi kung galing abroad yan or nandito. So, depende sa availability nila so that we can go. But as much as possible, you know, um, yeah, let, let's let's register and then just se uh, send your down payment, probably half of that muna ng 500,000 um, just to, you know, book in a slot and then we can already start with that. And let's see, no, baka mag-lift mag na ng konti yung ECQ Ganyan, probably pwede na mag-start mag-register ng DTI online, you start doing that as well. No, go to DTI, register your name, ganun, para magkaroon ka na rin ng sarili mong business name. So you can start with that already. No, that's our suggestions. Pwede nating unti-unti in dyan. Right? And as much as possible, when all of this ends, yung, mga, yung lockdown, we want you to visit our office as well. Our office is in Mandaluyong. We're just near EDSA, Cordillera Street. So... Um, it's best that you can go to our office as well. No? Ganun muna natin gawin. But in any case, we can always do online orientation for those who are far from our office. We're, we will be glad to do that as well. Okay, good question. Sabi ni Elmer, kung okay lang po anong difference ni Transportify at Lalamo Business. Um, sila kasi naka-app-based sila, kami traditional. Then sila karamihan, B2C yan. Pag may nag-book sa'yo, tsaka ka may takbo. Paano pag walang nag-book? Yun yung challenge. So, and if you would notice, ha, like one of their advertisements, I think Transportify, pag may six-wheeler kang van, 20 days na takbo, 70,000 ang kikitain mo. So divide mo sa 20 yung 70,000. That's 3,500. That's really industry standards. Right? 3,500 per, per trip. Right? Yun talaga yung rate ng, ng tracking. Ganun yan. No? So, eh yun, yun lang yung challenge. What if hindi ka everyday mabook? Ganon. So, we, we don't know. Right? Dito at least, meron kang complacency no, na mas malaki yung chance, may regularity. Five or six days in a week, you get booked talaga. Ganon. Yun. Nag-aabang ka ng biyahe kung meron. No, sa iba nga daw, yan, sabi ni Rex, sa iba nga daw, 2-4 two, 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 lang no, per biyahe. So, again, what we're doing is we're really negotiating rates before kami pumasok sa isang company. Kaya namimili rin kami. We really want to negotiate rates para kumita yung mga trackers. Yun yung reality. No? Because we have experience already binabarat. We started small, isa, dalawang track lang. Ganyan. Um, binabarat eh, hindi kikita. And we've been, we're not happy with that, no? with that experience. That's why we, we're doing this. No? So that you, especially those who are just starting, will not go through that. We want you to make money as well. No? We want everyone to make money in this partnership. Assured po ba yung 26 trips a day? So, um, ang maganda rito, no, sabi ko na lang mga 90% assured. We cannot say always 100%. But ang nakaka-affect nito is ganito. Kung tuloy-tuloy kang tumatakbo, walang problema eh, kung hindi umaabsent yung driver mo. But based on our experience, pag biglang hindi pumasok si driver, tapos gusto mo kinapunyari, ngayon hindi pumasok, gusto mo bukas meron ka kagad takbo, hindi ganun kadali yon. Kasi, um, kunyari, nagpangako kami kay client, oh sige, we can provide you 30 trucks today for your trip, trips tomorrow. Tapos ang dumating 28 lang, may dalawa kaming kulang, mapepenalize kami. We cannot do that. So we can only promise those who are assured. Yung, alam mo yun, hindi umaabsent, laging tumatakbo, ganyan. And we have to do something dun sa dalawa na yun. We, either we get on call or we have to provide other trucks. Sometimes we drive for ourselves. Ako hindi ko po ginagawa yun. No, but you know, some of our partners drives for themselves. Um, para ma-address lang yung kulang. Ganon. So, sorry, 26 trips per month. Hindi yan per day. Oh, 26 days na trip. Tama. Gabi naman yung 26 trips per day. 26 trips per month. Oh, yun. Ganon. So, Sunday lang wala. Yun yung goal. Pag nag-load ka kasi ng Sabado ng gabi, Monday morning na yung delivery mo. Yun. So, yun. But again, I don't wanna, you know, overpromise. But that's what we're doing. We are trying our best para every day meron kang takbo. No, kung wala namang aberya, dapat meron kang takbo every day. Ganon. So yun nga, posible pa nga magdalawa nga per day pag lalo na pag peak season. Ganon. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing. Right? Kaya rin tuloy-tuloy kami nagsusource ng different partners kasi minsan, kunyari, meron kang pasaway na partner, hindi pa absent-absent, ganyan, or yung uu parang urong sulong, di ba? Parang ganyan, parang ayaw na tumakbo, tapos tatakbo ulit. Ang hirap din nun eh, kasi we're live, we're live, you're, they're leaving us hanging eh. No? Nakakahiya rin kasi kami yung kausap ng kliyente, gano'n. So we also have to manage 
some of the trucks na if ever wala ito, may maipasok, ganyan. Yun. So, um, possible nga talaga na dumami pa ng 26 trips per month. no Kasi nga, we're, yun nga, the, the client is acquiring more clients then as well. Like definitely, um, let's say na-acquire na si McDonald's, one of the new clients. So we deliver to McDonald's. Sa dami ng requirements nila, lalo na pag na-lift yung ECQ, di ba? Um, constantly magpapad- magde-deliver sa kanila. Ganon. So, kumbaga yung kliyente natin nag expand din. Definitely, tayo posible mag-expand din. Yeah, McDonald's has 669 stores according to Sir Bandwagon. Ayan. Diba? So, yun. Any other questions? Okay, if you... Okay, how long is the contract with PTB? What we're doing is we're issuing one-year renewable. Right? So, we're doing... Um, Yung, yung parang agreement natin will be always one year, then we renew and renew. Ganun yung ginagawa natin. Um, it's, it also helps for everyone. Kaya lang naman one year is because um, we don't wanna, wanna overpromise din naman. Kasi syempre, we also have, uh, we have a longer um, contract with the clients. Let's say we have a five-year contract with, with one client. Diba? It's easier, number one, it's easier to LTFRB if, they, if we show na okay, we have a five-year contract and then you have a one-year contract. Parang ganun. That's one. Uh, that's one of the discarte. Ganon. So number two, um, so that of course we are flexible for both of us. Ganon. Both of us sa atin, we can even improve the rates kung nakakuha tayo ng mas magandang rates. Di ba? Or another thing kasi is per client basis tayo. There might be potential clients in the future na maraki yung requirements nila pero probably lower yung rates. Depende. So there might be a chance na there will be some trucks na iba-iba lang din yung rates. But definitely, we don't want to go really far from that 4,000 kasi nag-compute na rin kami. Doon namin nakita na yung tracker talaga kikita sa ad, around that level, not sa 3,500. Ganon. So, because yun nga, we have, exp- we have experienced that in the past. Binabarat yung rate. Ganon. So, we want to really make sure na kikita talaga lahat. Paglalaban natin yung rate natin. Ganon. Okay. If you have other questions, you can send me a message. You can leave a comment in my YouTube channel as well. And I will answer that. Um, if you're watching this on a recorded fashion, no, that's just fine. Again, if you're interested, if you, if you want to grab our special offer, just message us and just register to that link. Again, I'll show you that link again. And let's be partners. And go to www.drivengroup.com.ph slash PTB Partnership 2020. Again, this is DJ Demaliwat. I really hope you're doing well wherever you are right now. And thank you very much for spending time with me. Um, I hope we can meet in person. I hope you can visit us in our office in the future as well. Um, and I hope we can be partners in this. We're really committed of, uh, to you, helping you grow your business. Um, because that's our business, helping people grow their business their own business. Um, thank you very much, guys. See you around. Right? And when we have our next schedules, I hope you can attend or, or share this with the people, with your friends who you feel will also benefit from this. Thank you.